We can't not talk about wireless technologies. Wireless technologies, because uh, of their deployment uh, mechanisms, really have taken a, a, a good footprint in the state of Nebraska and nationwide. There's a, there's a need and there's a reason to use wireless technologies. And it's not necessarily an inferior quality technology. Um, it, th there are very, very good wireless deployments out there, and wireless can be done very well. There's a couple of different wireless uh, deployments out there, though. There's mobile networks. There's point to multipoint and point to point. And we're going to talk about each one of those. So let's go to our favorite. Let's go to mobile networks. OK. <coughs> Everyone's going to need to stay with me here for a second, OK? Because does anybody understand the whole series from 1G to 5G? Anybody? Raise your hand. It, come on, somebody in here. I don't know, so somebody needs to know. <laughs> OK. So let's start from the beginning in the way I interpret it, OK? We'll start with two simultaneous technologies. One of them was um, CDM, uh, G, uh, GSM and one of them was CDMA. Both of them were deployed in a 1G to 2G type of scenario. OK, I'm going to go really fast here. Then 2G went to 3G, and then 3G went to 3G Enhanced, and then 3G Enhanced actually crossed and went to pre-4G, and then pre-4G went to 4G IMT, and then 4G IMT then split and went into a series called WiMAX, which was fixed mobile. And then, OK, I'm confused. Anybody else confused? Oh, no, I got all that. OK. So. <laughs> So let's back up for a second, and you can see from this chart that the technologies used for mobile networks, i.e. cellular, um, really have changed a lot and they've progressed. But let's just go ahead and boil it down to really what's used today and what's relevant. We have a couple of different scenarios out there. One of them is WiMAX, and one of them is 4G and or LTE. Okay? Let's go ahead, Dan. Okay, 3G, which was third generation cellular, that's kind of the cellular that we were used to a year or so ago. Um, and that was really the most widely deployed across the, the United States at that point in time, third generation. It had average speeds of 3.5 megabits per second and 0.66. We probably, and I apologize, you probably remember from the last slide um, that uh, I had some speeds up there, and we might actually go back to that one once again. So we'll talk a little bit about that as we're bringing out hypothetical speeds. So we have speeds that these networks are capable of. And the speeds that these networks are, are capable of are hypothetical speeds. And we showed that the hypothetical speed, there we go. Uh, the hypothetical speed for these 4G and LTE deployments are 1,000 megabits per second or 1 gigabit per second and 500 megabits per second. Everyone's like, well, that's incredible. Why would I need any other broadband connection if I can get a gig down and 500 meg up from my cellular connection, right? Well, I told my wife that I needed a Corvette, okay? The reason I told her I needed a Corvette is because the Corvette's top speed was 198 miles an hour. And hypothetically, I can get from Brady, Nebraska, where I live, to Lincoln in an hour, right? Does that make sense? Okay. So she said no, by the way. <laughs> um, so hypothetical is not necessarily real-world scenarios. The hyp hypothetical maximums for these, these wireless data systems are if you have one subscriber sitting in a perfect location based upon where that cellular tower can deliver that service. That's the hypothetical. Now, we are getting really good data rates today from the 4G and LTE deployments, but not hypothetical. The average US speeds, and these are straight off the, 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 the interwebs, that thing right after I got in watching the Adam Sandler movie, I pulled this information. Um, but basically, the average speeds for 4G today are 9.9 .9 megabits per second to 13.5 megabits per second nationwide, OK? We also have um, LTE, which is long-term um, evolution, and that's kind of the new protocol for 4G. And by the way, most 4G deployments in the United States today are, are LTE. So, as we get to our 5G, which is coming up, and 5G is right around the corner, folks, they're going to put more and more tower locations out there to serve higher and higher bandwidth. Like we talked about, my Corvette will do 198 miles an hour, but I can't get to Lincoln because there's that state patrol issue and all that other stuff. Um, so same way, we need to be able to take these wireless networks, we need to make them more robust with more towers, and then the data rates that are able to, to, to not just be the conceptual, but the actual data rates will go up and are higher. Other wireless, wireless technologies that we're going to talk about are point to multipoint. 
point, point to multipoint is one of the many wireless technologies where one base station can serve many subscribers. This is the traditional wireless deployment today for fixed wireless. So if you have a wireless company serving your, um, your home, it's traditionally over one of these point to multipoint systems. Typical speeds can be between 1.5 megabits per second and 20 megabits per second, which is, is and it's, it's typically asymmetrical, um, but that's, that's good speeds. Um, over the course of the last year and a half, though, there's a lot of different technologies and a lot of different frequencies that are being utilized that have different attributes. So this 1.5 to 20 megabits per second is kind of that average um, that the typical wireless deployment's using today. But with millimeter wave radios um, and the such that, that have, have really come to, to bear in the last year, we're seeing speeds up to a gigabit being able to be delivered over short distance wireless. Um, in fact, Google Fiber, um, has kind of gone away from its, its mechanism of I want to deploy fiber all the way to the homes and it's saying I want to deploy fiber to that fiber to the node or fiber to the center of a community type of deployment and then they're looking at utilizing things like these millimeter wave radios for the short range local loop replacement. So um, new viable technology that's really providing high speed data. Point to point is another wireless technology um, that uses line of sight. Um, can be utilized on a case-by-case -case basis. Generally speaking, higher level dependability because it's, it's a fixed point-to-point -point deployment, um, but it's also capable of higher speeds. Um, anywhere between 50 mil, uh, megabits per second and 200 megabits per second is pretty common on point-to-point on -point deployments. We also can't not talk about satellite. Um, Satellite is a service um, option that's available in very hard to reach in rural areas w w with rural subscribers. Um, 15 megabits per second down, one megabit per second up is common on satellite. Great for remote locations. If there is no other option, satellite's out there. Satellite does work. Um, there are some limitations. Because the satellite is in a geosynchronous orbit 25,000 miles above the Earth, <laughs> you have a scenario that you're going to have some latency. It's going to take a little while for that, that signal to go 25,000 miles up, 25,000 miles down. Um, so you're not going to be calling grandma off your Vonage phone with a satellite connection. It just won't work. But if you're in a rural area and you need connectivity, satellite's there and it's an option. <laughs>